This is Dan Bjork, an agronomist with the Grow Solutions Center, and this is my favorite time of the year. There's about 10 days during the season when tassels emerge, pollen flies, and the silks come out that you can actually determine the genetics, the male and female inbreds that are behind the hybrids you plant. And as Fred Bilo indicated in the Seven Wonders to uh, corn yield, there can be a 50 bushel difference at stake depending upon the genetics you plant, the input you apply nutritionally, and the weather we get. So we're going to take a look at what are these different phenotypical characteristics of the plant and how you can use that to determine the differences in genetic, genetics and make sure that you're diversified. Okay, looking at uh, Corteva's Bravant brand, um, and this is a 100 and 12 day hybrid definitely has a distinct um, dark uh, reddish color. You could call it almost purplish uh, red, but a very distinct silk color. And look at the size of these tassels. I mean, that main spoke is at least 14 inches long. And you can see the, the side Branches coming off about a 40 feet, 40 um, five degree angle. Um, there you go. Very distinct genetic uh, look for uh, Corteva. The other thing that I note is that these leaves, they tend to, uh, at the very end, they tend to uh, roll over more, a little bit more horizontal. And if you look uh, at the canopy, if you look at the canopy, uh, you can see that. Here's another Bravant. Again, look at the silks. Man, they are very distinct, guys. You see silks like this out in the field, there's a pretty good chance, you know, where it's coming from, from the breeding standpoint. Again, the main spoke on these tassels is very, very, very long, and then the side branches come out almost at, um, at about a 45 degree angle. And again, you get the, uh, the leaves, uh, they tend to be um, more uh, like this, where they get just a little bit more uh, horizontal at the end. Okay, here's a classic DeKalb look. Silks are white versus the, the dark reddish color uh, that you get with the Brabant. Tassel main spoke is half the size of the Brabant, and then the side branches come out at about a 70 uh, degree angle. And I find this really interesting. Look at these leaves. They do not, they are basically almost vertical, which gives you a lot of light penetration when you look into the canopy. So those characteristics, those three, silk, tassel, and leaf type are enough. And you can, you can also look at ear type later on, but uh, this would show you um, whether you have diversity or not. Okay, 5665, again, cell color, white, main branch, not nearly as big as what the Bravant was in the side branches are at a 70 degree angle, not, uh, not 45. Um, and again, with this one, look at the verticality of the leaf. Uh, so to wrap up this video, why does it matter to determine these different phenotypical characteristics you know, white silks versus purple silks, big long main spoke tassels versus small tassels, erect leaves versus more horizontal. Um, it matters because number one, you know that you have diversity when you see those different uh, characteristics out there. If you're planting one brand and you go from one hybrid to the other, and you really can't see any difference in cell color or any difference in tassel type or height, or the, the, the leaf type, you may have something that is related on the male side or on the female side, you may not be diversified. 
And in life, we have learned that diversification helps to avoid the stress uh, that can come in, uh, whether we're in the financial markets and we're looking at um, our stock portfolio uh, or planted corn and looking at that portfolio. So uh, it is important. Um, after harvest, we are going to hold a series of meetings with the account leads. You can talk to them and, and, and ask them when these meetings will be held. And we're going to go into a little bit deeper discussion here. We're going to talk about the different brands that are out there and which ones you should plant when you've got a soil type that might be a little light on potassium. Maybe it's only one, uh, 100, 135 ppm. Um, there's a difference in response to potassium by these two, two different brands, and we, we'll give you a more specific answer for that. What about nitrogen utilization? Which one needs late nitrogen to finish strongly? There's a difference uh, between the two. So I like to say uh, we'll take a soil test report of any field you give us, and we'll look at the pH, we'll look at organic matter, we'll look at CEC, we'll look at the, um, the P and K levels, and we'll give you a recommendation that will improve your odds of having a successful yield the next season. Dan Bjorklund, Grow Solutions Center, signing off.